Hey folks, Rob here, and I'm back out here this morning with our Ruger 1022. Uh, if you watched my ye uh, video yesterday, you seen that I pride defense sent over this uh, rest for us to use on the channel to test and uh, see how it works out for us. Uh, they were kind enough to do that, uh, so I picked up this uh, and I paid for this. They did provide the uh, rest for, to the channel, but I uh, I picked up this uh pride defend this is a scope leveling kit now this is something i've never owned in my life i always just put the scope on there and eyeball it and get it as best i can and never really took any uh real uh efforts to make sure well you know i'd get it as close as i could uh eyeballing it so which always seemed to work out for me i've always had a pretty good uh um ability to tell level you know you can uh, kind of side out across, pick out a, uh, a horizontal line, like on the siding of your building or something, and, uh, you know, use that uh, roof line. So, you, you know, there's lots of ways you can level a scope without having a tool. Uh, but this is the Pride Defend scope leveling kit. And what you get in the box is a little Allen wrench, and that is to uh, fit these little bubble level here. And, of course, you come with your bubble level. This is non-magnetic. I kind of wish it was magnetic, but uh, it's a non-magnetic. It's plastic. Just a simple little bubble level. And then you have your level for your barrel. And this simply has two little wing nuts, and you can slide this to open it up to uh, fit your barrel. Uh, I don't know how bigger barrel that would fit. I don't know if you could get that on maybe a 12-gauge. Uh, for sighting a red dot or leveling a red dot or something like that, but definitely probably going to fit most rifles. Uh, and uh, so I thought we'd give this a try. Now I put this uh, T Eagle scope on this uh, 1022, and uh, you know I just uh, uh, you know tightened it, you know leveled it by same as I always do. But uh, we're going to go through the process you would use. I'm not going to take this scope off. I'm just going to check it. So first thing you want to do is make sure your, your gun is level. And normally you would do this with the... Uh, I don't know how I'm best going to do this because it's not going to fit under that scope. Uh, but you would level it across your base. And I'm just going to... Oh, it is magnetic. It is definitely magnetic. As you can see, it's stuck right there to the barrel. So I just want to get my rifle level, you know, up and down. I want to get it as close to level there in the rest as possible. So you can see there our bubble is about center. So that looks pretty good to me. That's not a, you know, uh, a given that it has to be uh, leveled this way. But I'd, I would say that would be a, you know, good... Uh, a good thing to do if you're going to go through this process you might as well do it you know all the way so anyway so we've done it that way like i said you would normally want to level across your base here but since i already have this mounted i'm going to put it across the front sight and i can see right now our rifle is completely out of level now i don't know if you will be able to see that or not hold on i'll get you a shot of that all right, looks to me like we have our rifle pretty level across the the uh, base there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our barrel level here. And we're just going to slide that over the barrel right here. And I'm going to put it on and start tightening it down. Now I want to make sure that both of these stay and I know I'm blocking that shot. Let me let me scoot around this side. Maybe I can do it without blocking the shot too bad. But what I want to do is I want to make sure that uh, both these are equally level. And 
and I want that I want this to be equally level and I don't have it completely tightened down just yet this is harder to do in film than it looks so I want to get it fairly tight at least to where it's not easily moving on the barrel I'm gonna get it as close to being and I'm gonna to want to look down my confirm it with this one we let's move I moved our rifle just a little and now we're going to use these fine tuning knobs to fine tune that so we are going to fine tune that level and so as you can see down there I don't know let me get you another shot so if you can see we got our level here on our site fairly level we got this one about uh, let's tweak it just a little bit and tweak this just a little bit we want them to be okay so we're level here we're level there so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our one off our barrel there and uh, we're going to move it across our scope cap and making sure and we're going to see how accurate i am by doing this by eye so let me move you back here where we can see the scope and uh, we'll continue on so this rifle has domed scope cap so we're going to uh, remove the cap from the scope so we can go straight across to it and we are going to put our bubble level on our turret here and where it is magnetized it's wanting to go to one side okay as we can see there my scope is not level according to the rifle we are off quite a bit so we are going to have to loosen that up i figured it was uh, closer than that i didn't think i'd have to do any any changes but apparently my eyeball is not as accurate as i thought it was I think these are an H3. I believe that would be correct. Let me pause you here so I ain't bumping the camera and loosen this up and then we'll we'll get back to it. Okay. So I've got our scope loosened up. Our uh, level down on the barrel is still right where it needs to be. So I'm going to hold the rifle and try not to move the rifle at all and I'm gonna level this scope and looks like right about there is where it needs to be so I'm gonna try and get a screw tightened down enough to hold it there I don't want I want to try and keep my gap even on both sides so I'm kind of gonna work around you here just to get this snug enough where it doesn't move and it moved just a little bit on me Let's see if i can still turn it now we moved our rifle so we get our rifle level again and i'm gonna have to loosen this just a hair because when you do tighten these it's gonna it's gonna pull from one side to the other more than likely so I'm going to get that as close as possible and I'm trying to look past the camera and not move anything more than necessary. I'm bumping the tripod I know. That looks fairly good. When I tighten this other side it's probably going to pull it back that way just a hair. Let's see. No, 
Actually, I'm going the other way. So let's put a little more tighten on this side. I keep hitting my camera mount. So we're still good on the rifle. We're still off just a hair. And doing getting this a hundred percent might be beyond my ability uh, with my shakiness, but we are going to get it as close as humanly possible. trick is to get it just tight enough where you can move it and it not let's see how we are on our rifle we're still level there and we're going to move this just and I think that's pretty good that looks good right there now if I can just get it to tighten without moving a lot. I'm gonna start one, start these back ones, get them a little snugged up. That should help hold the front. I'm coming in at an angle to avoid my camera, but there we go. We're still level down on the barrel. We're level across the scope. So let me uh, pause you here a minute. We'll set back up and I'll tighten this down. So, I've got it uh, where I want it, got it snug down enough, got my gaps about right on both sides. So, now we're just going to give this, uh, I'm going to give it 15 inch pounds on the rings. We're going to go from side to side, back and forth, taking our time. We don't want to move our scope. Of course, it's locked down now. I don't think that it will shift and uh, we're just going to take our time. There's that one. There's that one. And there is our scope leveled. Now I'm going to check it again just to make sure. I'm going to get our one out there on the barrel level. Hey guys, this thing here too, these little adjustment screws, you can adjust this bubble. So what I did was took a two foot level, a carpenter's level, and uh, set it on a table, got it completely, the carpenter's level, completely level, then sit this on top the carpenter level and adjusted these screws to where the bubble on this was uh, level with the bubble on the carpenter's level. So, you know, that's probably something you'd want to check is to make sure that, uh, it is properly calibrated and level. So I did check it with a two foot carpenter's level. Okay, I'm gonna look down it. Uh, we are pretty level down through there. Um, both of them are within the bubble or in the line. So I'd say we're about as close as I'm gonna get it. Uh, we're not off more than a probably looking down at maybe a sixteenth of a bubble so I think that's pretty close uh, I thought my eyeballing was pretty good now I'm gonna have to go back and check all my scopes to see how how far off I am so anyway guys that's just a look at the uh, the pre fend pre pride fend I would keep wanting to say pre fend pride def pride fend I'll put the name in there because I'm always slaughtering it the Pride Fend uh, Scope Leveling Kit. I think this was um, 17 bucks on Amazon. It's uh, it's plastic, but you know you don't need uh, really expensive tools. You can spend a lot more on these things. So you know, uh, for what I do, uh, this will do everything I need. So anyway, guys, appreciate you watching. Give me that thumbs up. Leave a comment if you're not a subscriber. Uh, feel free to subscribe. I appreciate everybody that does, and, uh, you know, until the next video. Oh, don't forget to check out the uh, Hamilton Outdoors Facebook group page. 
We'd be glad to have you over there. And until the next video, guys, we'll see y'all later.